Hi everyone. This video will show you how to use the clipping box feature. This feature allows you to crop the selected point cloud and manually remove dynamic objects from it. First, select the target point cloud. Choose the cropping feature from the option bar on the right. For the specific circle feature, you can enter a specific radius. Select the target location and click point clouds inside or outside the specified range for cropping. For the specific rectangle feature, you can enter a specific length and width. Select the target location and click point clouds inside or outside the specified range for cropping. For the custom rectangle feature, you can use the mouse to choose the desired length and width. For the custom polygon feature, you can use the mouse to choose the desired location. Select the target location. You can undo your selection and reselect if needed. Click the cropping feature to finish your operation without keeping the crop data. Click the segmentation feature to finish your operation while keeping the crop data. Select a point cloud file and click the clipping box feature in the displays options bar. Select the arrows in the clipping box and adjust distances along the X, Y, and Z axis to see real-time distances. You can also click the drop-down arrow to customize the distances. Click the rectangle and cross-shaped arrows to show or hide. X plus X, Y plus Y, Z, and plus Z represent the translation of the rectangle along the X, Y, Z axis under the current clipping box. You can undo your selection and reselect if needed. Select the desired position and crop point clouds inside or outside the box while keeping the crop data separately. The source file should be left unchanged. When the clipping box feature is active, you can use the cropping feature to hide unneeded parts. Once selected, the crop point cloud data will be saved. Click the close icon to quit this feature. Select the point cloud file and click start dash, moving object removal dash, manual removal. When the manual removal feature is active, you can use the clipping box feature to hide unneeded parts. Select start and end points on the point cloud plane and customize the removal length, width, and height for different dynamic object sizes. Also, you must select the removal position on the plane. If not, an error message will prompt you to reselect. After clicking Preview, the selected dynamic objects will be removed. The removal mode can be set above 
below, or inside the zone to suit dynamic objects within the point cloud.